Imagine this. It's the year 2040. Your AI powered alarm clock wakes you up, which has been monitoring your sleep patterns every day. It wakes you up at the most optimal time every day. As you stretch, your smart mirror greets you. The good morning. It's a great day to conquer the world, or at least to do your to-do list. It gives you a personal update on the schedule for the day. It gives you health metrics, and it even suggests an outfit based on the weather conditions outside and your task for today. I was just trying to imagine the scenario and I asked my AI assistant and it gave an image something like this. As you walk into the kitchen, your AI assistant, let's call him Jingo, he's going to be around with us for some time. Jingo has already reached the kitchen. He's brewed your favorite coffee just the way you like it, extra strong, because he knows that you've had a late night binge watching on a retro series of the 2020s. It has added a dose of optimism by playing your most favorite Monday motivational playlist, despite it being a Wednesday. Jingo, wanting to always help you and to keep you on track, reminds you of your morning meeting, keeps your agenda ready, the meeting notes and the summary, while updating you on the traffic conditions outside and giving you the suggestion for the best way to reach the destination without getting into traffic snorts. Now, coming to 2024, we are in the cusp of this future. I am here today to talk about a topic that deeply resonates in this rapidly evolving world. Contradiction to collaboration in the era of technological advancements, especially artificial intelligence. Before we dive into the profound depths of AI, let me share with you a little story. A few weeks ago, a dear friend of mine was struggling with his smartphone. He was trying to get his simple voice command to work. He went about saying, hey Siri, blah, blah, hey Siri, blah, blah. But Siri wouldn't budge. He tried quite a bit. His eight-year-old niece was looking at this drama unfold for quite some time. She gave up and she snatched the phone from him, clicked the button, and in a matter of few seconds, bingo, Siri became the most obedient assistant one can ever see. She then looked at my friend with a mix of pity and amusement and said, Uncle, I think you must ask Siri how to use Siri. Well, my situation is no better. That, my friends, is where we stand with respect to technology, at the intersection of frustration and fascination. When I was young, we used to marvel at the idea of flying cars. Self-driving cars were a thing of science fiction. Today, we may not yet have flying cars. I don't know, somebody may be creating it in some part of the world. But self-driving autonomous cars are navigating through many streets in many parts of the world, albeit some hiccups along the way. There are smart fridges today, which tells you when you're out of milk. And I'm told there are some extra smart fridges, which even orders for large quantity of milk, just because it overheard you talk about milk 
in a conversation. Progress is funny that way. We are in this era of technological advancements, especially AI, which is feared as well as celebrated. This dichotomy, this contradiction is palpable. On one hand, we have AI promising to solve some of humanity's greatest of challenges from healthcare to climate change. On the other hand, it raises issues with respect to job displacements, ethical dilemmas, or even threats of existence. This journey from contradiction to collaboration is akin to two partners trying to dance but not stepping on each other's toes. We've been hearing about artificial intelligence, AI, of late in every area. Wherever we go, they keep talking about AI, whether it's a meeting or whether it's a conference or in a situation like this. Do you have any idea when the word AI was, con was first coined, when artificial intelligence was invented? It was in the year 1956 by John McCarthy in the US. Research was going on much before that, whether machines would be able to think. Now, let me take you to the year 1997. IBM's Deep Blue defeated the then world champion in chess, Gary Kasparov. It was a watershed moment. To some, it was a dawn of a new era where machines would dominate humans. To some others, it was a clarion call as to how they would approach the machines. But here's the twist. Gary Kasparov did not retreat into a corner to brood over his defeat. Instead, he pioneered the concept of centaur chess, where humans and machines could collaborate. Combining the strategic intuitive minds of the humans and the brute computational power of the supercomputer. Rest, as they say, is history. Today, we have many of the grandmasters who have immensely benefited from this. Collaboration with AI is not just about coexistence. It is also about synergy. Think of AI as an orchestra. In the early days, when many instruments were invented, they were playing their own tunes. Together, it was more like a cacophony of sounds, a contradiction. But over a period of time, we learned to harmonize these instruments. An awe-inspiring symphony emerged. This required collaboration, a willingness to understand and integrate the strengths of each player, whether human, a machine, or an instrument. Let's the, take the case of healthcare. Now we have AI tools able to diagnose diseases with remarkable accuracy. It is the physician's experience and the AI tools data processing power that truly saves lives. Renowned cardiologists use AI tools to diagnose heart diseases with remarkable precision. However, they caution that AI tool only enhances but does not replace the nuanced understanding and the empathy which only a human doctor can provide. Let me now give you another light anecdote. I recently read about a man who wanted to go on a romantic dinner. He asked his AI assistant, Jingo, to book a table in a fancy restaurant, order for flowers, and even have a playlist. Everything was going absolutely fine until Jingo reminded him to ask for separate checks. 
Now, it seems that AI has some time to go to understand matters of heart. <laughs> Our friend didn't leave it at that. He asked Jingo, why did you insist on separate checks? And Jingo replied, based on your spending patterns, it is statistically likely that you will be required to ask for separate bills. That was a reality check. Sometimes AI can be brutally honest. Now coming to some real life scenarios. We now have AI powered robots working along with human workers in assembly lines. These robots handle routine, dangerous tasks with certain ease, allowing humans to concentrate on more complex, creative problem-solving areas. The result? Increased efficiency, reduced errors, minimized injuries. Now, these they also handle heaps of documents which makes logistics and shipping easier. Let's take the case of financial services. AI has transformed banking in fascinating ways. Fraud detection, for example. Manually processing data is tiresome, takes a lot of time and are error prone. Today, AI tools are able to process transactional data in real time and more accurately. They are able to identify errors and also suspicious activities, which not only protects the consumer, but also saves billions of dollars for the banks in potential losses and also reputational damages. Let me give you another example. One day, our friend Jingo was given the task of critiquing a piece of art. Jingo analyzed the painting and declared, this piece represents the angst of a postmodern society grappling with the void. I was as perplexed to listen to this bombastic words as you are, but it seems that it was just a toddler's finger painting. AI still has some time to go to understand emotions. And AI is not without its ethical considerations. Until recently, we've been told that content is king. But today, content is available anywhere and anywhere. One can create content in no time. Whether it's text or graphics or videos, there's very little difference between real videos and deep fakes. One must exercise caution. As we integrate AI into our daily lives, we must address issues like data privacy and security, algorithmic bias and accountability. This requires collaboration, not just between humans and machines, but also involving governments, industry and civil society. Talk of society, let me give you another example. Jingo was given the task of coming up with a recipe. People wanted something new to eat. And Jingo came up with something new. Chocolate covered pickle with brinjal. I couldn't imagine this. Now, I asked my friend to create something like this. Even the bravest of foodies would find it difficult to have something like this. I think we must let AI to, to suggest recipes and not invent them. Friends, as we look into our future, let us embrace this journey of contradiction to collaboration. Let us not look at AI as a threat, but as a partner. Let us har harness the potential of AI to enhance our own potentials, to push the boundaries of what is possible. Picture a world which is more sustainable. Our homes are energy efficient and our cities smarter. Our communities are network better and happily. As we walk 
on this tightrope of AI while balancing innovation and ethics. Let's remember the three C's. Compassion, curiosity, and creativity. Compassion to ensure that AI takes care of all of human beings and does not leave anybody behind. Curiosity to keep exploring, to keep questioning, to keep pushing you beyond what you can achieve. Creativity to give more opportunities to your brain and also integrate technologies that are both innovative and ethical. It is not about human versus machines. It is about humans along with the machines. Friends, let us be pioneers of this new era where we can guide technologies like AI to be the force for good. Together, let's ensure technology serves and helps humanity. Thank you. Thank <laughs> you.